Hey, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Who's happy this morning? It's a girlfriend's PJ party. If you still have your PJs on, I want you to comment. If you still have your PJs on, <laughs> some of you will watch this live. Some of you will watch it as a replay. If you've got coffee or tea in your mug, I want you to comment in the chat. And if you still have your PJs on, <laughs> my PJs, y'all, with my matching lanky. Yes, yes, yes. Who's ready? Hello from Malaysia. Hello. Happy Saturday. Where are you guys coming on from? I put on happy because we are talking about a powerful and positive mental health this morning. So giving people a couple minutes to come in and join us. If you don't have your PJs on, go put them back on. <laughs> hey, Christy. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Mia. Alexa, turn down to two. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is going to be a fun holiday PJ party. I want to hear what did you guys do that uh, was creative this holiday season? Who had to get creative? Okay, hello from Singapore. It is Katrina Harris Earl with my coffee mug, with my um, PJs, and we're having a PJ party today. So we're going to have some fun, and we're going to play Got Coffee. Excellent, excellent. I appreciate it. I want to know what you're drinking, and I want to know <laughs> who still has their PJs on. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to have some fun. Candles and the whole nine. We are going to talk today about uh, a beauty sesh, taking care of our skin, and we're going to just talk about some fun things that you can do during this holiday season to keep take care of you, your mental health, and have some fun with your girlfriends. How many of you did a Zoom? Oh, my uh, mask is itching. <laughs> How many of you did a Zoom for um, Thanksgiving? Got creative, okay? So we're going to play a fun little game before... We get started with uh, satin hands and satin lips today. And this is called Would You Rather. I love it. Got candles. Okay, so this is called Would You Rather. So you type in the chat. Would you rather have a live-in chef or a live-in housekeeper? Would you rather? Would you rather have a live-in chef or a live-in housekeeper? Mm. For me, it's a live-in chef. What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? Type in the chat. Would you rather win an Olympic medal or an Academy Award? Would you rather win an Olympic medal or an Academy Award? Hmm. Housekeeper, someone said housekeeper. For me, I guess, hold on, I gotta grab tissue because this is really itching my nose. Would you rather an Olympic medal? I think I'm gonna say Olympic medal because that means that I'm healthy and in shape, okay? Chef, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, oh gosh. This one's deep. Would you rather end all wars or end world hunger? End all wars or end world hunger? I guess mine quickly. Would you rather end all wars or end world hunger? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Okay, while you're typing, I'm gonna say end all wars because I feel like if all the wars ended, then we all could come together in love and end world hunger. Who's with me? Okay. So um, there's some of these. You could just Google would you rather games. These are kind of fun to play with girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather lose your keys or lose your cell phone? OMG. OMG. Okay. I'm the techie. So I would rather lose my keys because I can drive my car. I can start my car with my phone. Okay. I can get in my house with my phone. So I'd rather lose my keys. And I have, as a matter of fact, I have a story about losing keys. The cool thing about playing these games with your girlfriends um, is it brings up all kinds of, all kinds of things. Some of these I don't, I don't like it. I'm not feeling, but, oh, this is really easy for me. Okay. Would you rather take a holiday to Hawaii or Italy? Would you rather? It's a girlfriend PJ party. Would you rather take a holiday to Hawaii or Italy? Right now, it's easy. I'd rather be in Hawaii. But, oh, gosh. 
gosh, I don't know. The Amalfi Coast, there's just so many beautiful places. Italy, yeah, yeah. I mean, both of them are amazing. But I will say that Hawaii has the best weather of any place I've ever been to in the whole world. But Italy, I could live there. I could go from one place. Okay. Um, <laughs> here's a funny one. Would you rather sleep talk or sleep walk? <laughs> Would you rather sleep walk or sleep talk? We're doing 12 of these. Would you rather sleep talk or sleep walk? I think sleep talk because I don't have anything to hide from my husband, but sleep walk, you could hurt yourself. Although I got a story about that one. And if we had time, I would tell you because I've been sleepwalking as a kid. Okay, let's see. Italy, walk. Man, Italy's winning. Italy is winning. Okay. Um, oh, this is this is the national sales director in me that's going to ask this one. Would you rather always lose or never play? And I would say I'd rather always lose because I would figure out how to win. Okay. <laughs> never playing sucks. Okay. That just sucks. Um, oh, gosh. Some of these, it's, you know, it's like this one. I don't even like this one. Would you rather know it all or have it all? I mean, I'd rather know it all. You know what I'm saying? You could have it all. And that's like, because if I know it all, I can help a lot of other people have it all. Right. Um, oh, here's a good one. Here's a good, always play, always lose. Okay. Somebody said, good. I love it. Okay. Here's this. Okay. We got three more. Would you rather publish your diary or make a movie about your life? Would you rather publish a diary or make a movie about your life? Okay, I'm giving y'all time to answer. Movie, movie, and Regina King is playing me. <laughs> People say I look like Regina King. I would rather, and let's see who's playing my husband. Okay, I uh, wonder. Um, mm. I mean, some of these are weird. I didn't write these. Would you rather look weak and actually be strong or look strong and actually be weak? Well, scripturally, you would rather look weak and actually be strong. That's simple. Okay. To me, that's simple. Who wants to look strong and actually be weak? Like, who's going to say that? Okay. Because the weak, sometimes people confuse weakness and meekness. And I could go there and preach a song about that. <laughs> would you rather be naked in Antarctica? or wear a snowsuit in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> that is so stupid. Judging from my health, from the health stuff that cryotherapy is totally in, the answer would be neither for me. It's a, it's a neither for me, okay? I'm just gonna say neither. Um, thanks, Penny. Thank you, look weak and be strong. Okay, snowsuit. Yeah, because you take the dog on snowsuit off, right, Bertha? You just take the snowsuit off. But if you're in, that's good, yeah. You would take the snowsuit off, but if you're naked in Antarctica, you can't put anything on. So there we go. Sahara Desert. And by the way, I've done both. I haven't been to Antarctica, but I have been some places where it's been really cold. Okay, let me pick two more. Um, okay, so here's one. This is a good one that really people, this is a fair one. Would you rather have a surprise party thrown for you or throw a surprise party? That's a like 50-50. Let's see. Who would rather be this be surprised or throw the party i am not the best party girl and i'm hard to surprise because everything is technical and i read everybody's email and everything so i would rather be surprised because i don't think my family could pull it off but um i love to throw parties too throw a party both okay i love it okay let me find let me find i keep saying two more these are fun um, oh my gosh, that's another stupid one. Would you rather look young and feel old or look old and feel young? That's okay. It's like, uh -uh. I'd rather look old and feel young because I'm gonna put some makeup on and figure it out. Okay. <laughs> um, nothing like feeling young. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Two more. This is one. And then one after this, would you rather be stuck in an elevator or on a ski lift for two hours? Would you rather be stuck in an elevator on a ski lift for two hours? This is a girlfriend PJ party. Just relax with me for the hour. Okay. Penny says again, love surprises. 
You love to give surprises. Okay, I love it. Elevator. Bertha says elevator. Oh my gosh, I wish I could talk to y'all. Neither. I'm with you, Nikki. Neither. I don't want to be stuck anywhere. But yes, I say the ski lift because the view, you know, you I just would be singing worship songs. The the elevator is just, it's a hot mess up in there. And somebody got to go to the bathroom. Okay, if you want the ski lift and got to go to the bathroom, just have at it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mm. Okay, this is a bonus one. I'm picking one after this. Would you rather die in 10 years with no regrets or in 20 years with many regrets? I am with the no regrets because you got many regrets. You might not be spending eternity where you want to be. Okay, let me find one good one. This is another stupid one, y'all. Don't even vote on this one. Would you rather be eaten by a shark or stung by bees? I mean, that's just stupid. Neither, okay? Um. Okay, I'm finding one last one. I'm reading y'all's answers. You can climb out of the elevator. Okay, Bertha, you got. I got you. You got it on that. Yep. Somebody that you're right. You can climb out of the elevator. Um. Gosh, that's another stupid one. Would you rather be always frugal or a shopaholic? Okay, I'm not voting on that one. Um. Okay, I'm trying to find a good one. Uh. Oh gosh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stupid ones in here. Um, this is another stupid one. Would you rather never open your eyes or never open your mouth? Oh my gosh, no food, no seeing. That's like I'm not vote. Don't vote on that one. Um, gosh. All right, I'm picking. Let me just go to number one hundred and see. All right, this is the last one because this makes sense and it leads me into what we're talking about today. Would you rather have a massage or have a facial? Would you rather? This is a fun game you could play with your family. It's everybody going. Would you rather have a massage or a facial? Being that I can give myself a facial, I'd rather have a massage. Who's in the massage? Okay. Oh, yeah. Penny, why never open your eyes? Because you must, are you a foodie like me? I'm like, mm hmm. Okay, y'all. So we're going to share some more at the end, but we're going to get started with pampering. And right now I have on, this is sold out for our clients that are watching, but your consultant just may have some. If you're a guest here today, please be sure and tag your beauty consultant. This is our Mad About Masking, masking pods. And when I tell you, I have to be honest, I've had these for several years and um, we this is our second year having them and I've sold them, but I haven't used every color. And this was my first time putting on the Miss Poor Perfect. And when I tell you it's green, when I tell you that it feels it's so creamy, you guys describe these. This Miss Poor Perfect, this is what it feels like. It is green clay, rosemary, essential oils, menthol, bye bye impurities, hello, skin free skin. Um, and it's magnificently magnified. And so they come in all these different colors. This is the green one and it's delicious. And I don't want to take it off my skin. If y'all, I, I purposely only use half of it because when I get off with y'all, I'm putting the other part on. <laughs> so I am going to do satin hands. Um, and so one of the things you can do to take care of yourself is take care of the largest organ on your body. And that is your skin. The skin all over is so important. My hands are dry. And, you know, a really fun game that you can play with your girlfriends is sharing how you are taking care of yourself at home. So if you've been watching my lives, you've been seeing the saga of how I've been doing my own nails. And so I've got all kinds of fun nails we got we got these nails and we got we got all kinds of nails down here which ones will we be putting on okay but today i am going to practice doing my i've been doing my own gel and they grew out and then they broke and so today i am going to have some fun and see if i could do my own gel with a tip so we're gonna see so this is the before and if I'm successful, there'll be a picture of the after. 
If I'm not, there won't be a picture. <laughs> so satin hands, this hand softener you put on your hands, feet, elbows, knees, wherever you get really dry. It's unbelievable. Originally, we had a product, which we still do have called Extra Emollient Night Cream. And that was one of our best selling products. It was Mary Kay's original moisturizer that she used on her face um, for my dry, my uh, combination skin, much too rich. This does not go on your face, but this goes hands, feet, elbows, knees, wherever you get really, really dry. So as you can see, it's not a Vaseline, but it does lock in the moisture in that way. And then you take the scrub, the Shea scrub, and you apply it all over I think I still have the green screen turned on, so it's doing that weird thing. So you take it and you apply this all over. Whoops. Key is open it before your hands are super, um, before you got all this stuff going on, because now I can't open it. So you take the scrub and I'm being very generous and I'm applying it all over. Now this would go, the scrub would go where? All over your body. When? in the shower before you jump in the bathtub. So let's just think about things we can do for ourselves. I got this big old amazing bathtub here. Have I been in it in the past month? No. How many of you take baths regularly? And you know taking a bath makes you feel great. What if you took a bath this weekend? That's one thing you can do for yourself. I mean, you can do that with your girlfriend. You don't have to be, um, you know, don't put your body on camera, but just, Doing a bathtub challenge with your girlfriends is fun. Challenging your girlfriends to take a bath. Candles, take care of themselves. So I am removing this satin hands and my hands feel instantly. Guess what? Who are the chefs that cooked and who are the ones that ate only? And who did both? All right, I'm ready for a plate again, okay? By Sunday, I'll be tired of leftovers, but I'm still ready to go. I tried a couple new things. So you put that, um, I want to hear about your your uh, favorite Thanksgiving menu items, okay? So we did the hand softener and the scrub, and then I'm going to apply a little bit of hand cream. And these were our now also sold out but many of you have these amazing um hand creams that this one was the citrus sorbet mm, oh my gosh it smells like a fruit filled garden it smells delicious now while i still have this mask on i'm gonna go ahead and use our satin lips because this is a must let me see if i can turn off the green screen i don't know why it thinks i have a green screen. So there you go. Now you can see. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the scrub. And so ladies, this scrub for our clients that are watching your lips, you have no oil glands on your lips. And so you want to use this all over your lips. How often? Well, when I'm in Chicago in the winter, I can do this every day. Mostly the other times of the year, a couple times a week. All right, whenever your lips get dry, who uses this? Everyone. My puppy, you see princess right here. There she is. Hey, girl. Say, hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Even she, everybody who wants a kiss, she's coming to get love. All right, not really. Don't put it on your dogs, but everyone else. Alicia, rice casserole. I want to know your rice cat. Send me a picture of that rice casserole. I want to see the recipe. Candy yams, girl. I'm hungry thinking about it. Um, we have to we have to really watch salt in our house. And can you believe my husband? He loves sweets, but he's a calorie counter every day. I'm like, don't hate. Mine was the cornbread. I have if you've ever been to Bandera, this cornbread recipe, which is not my family recipe, it's our favorite restaurant recipe, unbelievable. It is delicious, delicious. And I still have some downstairs. So it's still in the skillet. 
So I'm taking this off and I'm gonna go ahead. Seafood stuffing. Oh my gosh, Bertha. What kind of seafood do you have in there? My grandmother's famous stuffing was rice, not stuffing. Was my grandmother from Louisiana, she made rice dressing, not just um, regular dressing, cornbread dressing, but she made rice dressing. And when I tell you, it was one of the reasons my dad married my mama. <laughs> uh, I'm not a dressing person, probably a good thing because I'm so many other things kind of person, not a black eyed pea I peas, peas person either, which if you're a black in America and you're not in the black eyed peas, that kind of almost gets you uninvited to the picnic or the New Year's party, but I'm not. But our household is, trust me, there'll be some black eyed peas up in here. So, all right. So my lips feel amazing and my skin feels amazing just from that mask. What we're gonna use today is our miracle set. And this is a girlfriend pamper party. And so, you know what? I just am gonna show you because we're doing a lot of other fun things today, the simplicity of taking care of your skin. If you're in a hurry on a regular day, not today, you're just gonna do the mere basics. You're gonna cleanse with our four in one cleanser, which is gonna help to cleanse, exfoliate and freshen. You're gonna moisturize in the daytime. You're gonna use a little bit of eye cream, bam, you're done. But there's the regular products that just get the your skin basically clean. And then there's the stuff for the sexy people. So we're bringing sexy back today. We're gonna do the extra. We're gonna do the extra. So among our four in one cleanser, we have, formula for dry normal and for combination oily. I use both right now. I'm using the one that's pink for normal skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. A little dab will do ya. You're gonna apply up and out across your forehead and down your nose. That's called a face lift. Your skin, gravity's working against your body till the day you die. So you want to be sure that you work against gravity. I'm gonna use my amazing sonic brush here which helps to get my skin even cleaner. I'm gonna apply up and out. Now, my normal cleanser is Volufirm. I love our Volufirm set. So if you are a guest today and you're in the 40 plus club, the 50 plus club, the 60 plus club, ask your beauty consultant about the same basic skincare, but our Volufirm set, which is super sophisticated and I've got some of my girlfriends watching from Singapore and Malaysia, and they have other skincare lines also that um, are amazing in that market, but they have a miracle set too. So I'm gonna do this. I'm going a little bit quicker than I should because I'm online. So you just apply this all over. Oh my gosh, it's heaven. This is a girlfriend party everyone comes or you get virtual and you just cleanse. Guess what I'm smelling right now? I'm still smelling that hand cream. Normally you wouldn't put it on until you were done with the water, but my hands still feel amazing. Now, I just want you to see, you can see all that dirt that's accumulated right in there. It washes down the drain. It gets pretty clean when you rinse it. The dirt comes out. I love how the bristles clean. You can pop it right off of there and you can use one set one uh, set of bristles. Your husband can use the other, or you can do like my husband who says, I want my own brush. So that's pretty cool too. So I'm gonna go ahead. How often do you clean? Twice a day, morning and night. Okay, y'all, Darlene, don't even try it. You know, we wanna taste some of that sweet potato pie. Okay, Darlene lives a county over from me. Okay, yo, sweet potato pie. Your grandmama's sweet potato pie. Yes, I want a picture, um, Alicia. Where do you live, Alicia? So there you go. We did that. Very simple. Now, on a daily basis, how often will it, how long will it take you to do this? Just a couple moments. Then you're gonna take your moisturizer, and you're gonna moisturize. This is just how simple. You can cleanse your skin 
You're just going to moisturize a little dab will do you. You go up and out. And you do everything that you did to your face, to your decollete. It's a $20 word for your neck and your throat. You kind of go down to your bra line here. You go up, 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 up. And then you have another set of things that you use from the bra line down. Okay. So that's your moisturizer. At night, you would use the night cream. And right now, with your ring finger, I'm going to use our eye cream. So I'm going to come back and add some extra products. It's my time like, but this is how simple it is to care for your skin every day. So consultants, you can do 20 minute beauty sessions, introducing people to the ultimate miracle set with the goal of 10 new basic skincare customers. I'm challenging you. And then asking every one of your friends um, to look at their holiday list. You want two things from every one of your clients. You want three people that you could help them with. This feels amazing when you do this, by the way. It's called stippling. And I'm going, being very generous. This is much more eye cream than I would put on during the day before makeup. But rubbing it right under that brow bone, right around here. It has those creeping properties. It'll creep into the right area. Okay. So um, you want two lists from them. You want a list of three people that you could help them um, knock off their Christmas list. You know, there's the immediate family, but then there's other people like their pastor's wife, like your mail carrier, like their boss, like their secret Santa, like um, a girlfriend across town. And um, there's so many great things. And then you want to know who their secret Santa is. You want three or four items or a wish list of items that they would love someone to treat them to. Okay. So what we just did is we did the miracle set. We're done. It's real simple. This is the miracle set. Your four in one cleanser. We did your day cream at night. You're going to do the night cream. And then we did the eye cream. Okay. And don't hesitate to also sell them the miracle set along with the travel size version because there will come a time that we'll be able to get back out of the house, go to the gym, do other fun things, and these come in handy. Or for the person who wants to add this on to their miracle set or what have you and um, purchase other, um, try it. So I'm going to introduce you to a couple of other products. And one of them above and beyond are our eye patches. So these amazing eye patches, consultants, talk about what you love about the eye patches in here. And if I'm doing a girlfriend birthday, um, a slumber party, a virtual, any kind of party, I got to get in the mirror for real. I am doing eye patches because these are everything, okay? They're cool hydrating. Um, they're fun for uh, uh, for pampering, but they actually are amazing. You leave them on for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to leave these on. Now, when you're on live, they do tend to slide a little bit because normally you'd be chilling with your beverage and your girlfriends. So this is a really fun thing that you can do. I want you to make a list of girlfriends. Why not get together with your own girlfriends or have girlfriend groups? And um, the guests that are watching, this is so much fun to do with your girlfriends and your beauty consultant. When you support her business for Small Business Saturday, um, there's an extra special gift right now for hosting a party. And then a really fun thing you could do that we did at one of our retreats you get these cute little mirrors from the dollar store. And while your eye patches are on, you have these, um, they're pens that you can write um, on mirror. So they're just pens you can get from uh, Dollar Tree, from wherever. And you put mine um, says, I am beautiful, passionate, and loving. I am an inner circle national sales director. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And so these are really fun. You could do them. We added diamonds. I did mine a while ago, but you can get those little stickers. And this is a fun thing everyone could do. Um, and it's just a, I love you mirror. Okay. 
So while these are on, I'm going to do introduce you to microdermabrasion. So the miracle set alone is amazing. But when you add the microdermabrasion to it, it becomes the ultimate miracle set. Twice a week, it's great to do the and then some bring sexy back with this product that helps to give your skin the smoothest, most amazing texture. And so I like to say that this is um, HD for your face. So if you are watching your grandma's uh, TV, okay, the one that had the rabbit ears, you know the difference between how that picture looks and how the picture looks on your high definition television. Well, guess what? That's the difference in what this does for your face. Microdermabrasion helps to um, it helps to texturize and smooth and even out the pores. You have 20,000 pores on your face. And so you do this just a couple times a week. I don't necessarily have the eye patches on while I'm doing it. Um, I like to do this in the shower, actually. And because you don't go to your eye area, but I do go kind of right up there. You don't massage this and scrub this you um, maneuver it. I sh should say you don't scrub it, you massage it on. So you want to make sure your skin is damp, which my skin is still very damp. This would go on, of course, before your moisturizer. Um, your beauty consultant can print out something like the order of application that's on our InTouch. And when you sell the product to your client or for the guests that are watching, when you get the product, your beauty consultant will give you a um, printout or just a text of the order of application so that you know, based on what you got, what products. And oftentimes I write it right in their lookbook. So microderm is a must. And the cool thing about the microderm abrasion, y'all, is we have samples of this. And so I would be putting this in every party pack. If you're gonna do a PJ party with your girlfriends, you're going to put this in the party pack. And why not do that? And you could watch episodes of Girlfriends. You could play some fun music. There's all kinds of fun things you can do. This feels amazing. And I love microderm. Now, women go to the spa and have my microderm abrasion treatments done. And they will spend easily... 85 dollars for one microdermabrasion treatment. This helps to physically exfoliate. You want to be sure. The one thing with microdermabrasion is you have to be totally sure that you get all the granules off. It's almost, it is challenging to get all the granules off if you're not at the sink and it's challenging. I'm probably going to have to take these eye patches off because inevitably some of the granules got under there. So you really need to splash. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove these. You see how the eye patches for our guests, they were very moist and pearlized in the beginning. And now the moisture is almost gone. It's not all gone because it hasn't been 20 minutes. But microderm, you do not have to leave on for a long time. You apply it on in the shower and then take it off. So give me one second while I splash. Because the granules are very fine. Who knows what I'm talking about? And if you're in the shower, you get rid of them all. But at the sink, if you move too quickly, you can go to put your foundation on and feel some of the granules. So type your questions in the chat. Yeah, love it. Removes your under... Eye puffiness, yes, coolness, thanks Patty. The coolness is amazing. Oh my gosh, make sure all feel great even when they're tired. Thanks, Delana. So this is pampering, y'all. You've got to take care of yourself. Let me tell you a couple of things I'm doing to take care of myself. Oh gosh. I'm going to splash. One second, one second, one second. Yep, more granules. I'm splashing. So in the shower, you know, for the sisters, we're not going all the way under. 
but under the water, it's all about the hair. Okay. But um, I think I got a little bit of my eye. Hold on. Yep. So you want to be sure that you um, do it in the shower where it's very, very damp. Okay. Where your skin is damp and moist. But it feels amazing. When you put your... Um, now I'm going to apply the pore minimizer. If you were to do that to part of your face, and one of the ways you can demonstrate this, if you're doing a QVC, QVC style party, you can put it on your face, but you could also demo on your elbow. A lot of times, you can't see it as much on ivory skin, but on bronze skin, if we show our elbows, a lot of times you could see our elbows are darker. So you can demonstrate and put it on one elbow and then hold the elbows up and people can see the difference. Pore minimizer, you could do every day. We have 20,000 pores on our face, and this helps to minimize the pores. Pores, you could look at a baby's butt and look at a baby's uh, face. Pores, nice and fine. What happens? Elasticity, gravity, all the stuff that goes down, sitting, <laughs> big butts, all that stuff makes our pores spread. And so on our face, this helps to minimize the pores. So you do that. Microdermabrasion, it retails for 55. And is that correct? And so this is an amazing thing. And you add this, if you were just gonna add one beauty treatment, treat yourself to one beauty treatment on in addition to your microdermabrasion, this would be it. Okay, a couple more things before we go. What's new with Mary Kay is, and again, once you get the correct product, your beauty consultant will give you the order of application. This is our new replenishing serum C plus um, E. And so beauty consultants, if you haven't yet ordered this, you've got to get this product. Vitamin C, this is all about brightening. And so this is amazing. Serums are the rage for making your skin younger. Women are looking for ingredients. Um, a lot of times there's particular ingredients they've read about, that they know about, that they want to be sure they have. And so we had... Um, vitamin C in this one, but now they've added E. And so I know my mom would put vitamin E on if I ever got a burn. Does amazing things. My skin feels like, whoo, some women are going to want to add tone correcting serum. This can be, can help with evening out skin tone. And so that is really, really good. I'm going to tell you two things. Hold on. One thing that I use a lot is our lash and brow serum. My lashes and brows start to get, they start to thin out the older you get. It's just a natural process. Can I get an amen? Anybody notice? Am I the only one? This I you wanna do with the mirror also. And I put it right along the lash line and this helps your lashes and brows to thicken. Lip primer, this, um, of course, we did the satin lips scrub. We didn't do the lip balm, so I'm going to go ahead and do the lip balm. But the lip primer is amazing for priming your lips before lipstick. All right, so this is our lip balm. All right, we're just about done. And then I'm going to share with you some of the mental health things that I think are um, can make a difference during this season. And if you know me, you know that my very favorite product, who knows, my very favorite product is, bam! So it's not a slumber party without me introducing this. Again, if you're just wanting to take care of your skin, then the Miracle Set can do the trick. Ultimate Miracle Set with the Microdermabrasion, highly, highly, highly recommend it. But there's always, based on your skin care needs, some extra things. My husband just got an abrasion on his face. He said, what do I put on it? I said, grab your nourishing oil, um, vitamin, help me, with sesame, almond, and olive oil, okay? So I'm putting some drops here. I use this all over my body wherever I'm excessively dry, okay? Use your imagination. It's not just for your face. And 
it's not i'm putting a lot on because this is a slumber party i'm not getting ready to put my makeup on but my skin will absorb all of this perhaps even before we get off it's not for um oily skin can still use this because it's not going to make your skin feel greasy it's locking in you know how when you eat there's the good oils and there are the not good oils so this ain't crisco y'all <laughs> these are the good oils so there you go okay so while i'm doing this let me tell you a couple things that i'm doing in my house i want you to share we're not drinking out of plastic unless we have to like when you're leaving the house and you need to take something with you you could take plastic but do you know that the plastic um the water leaches the plastic leaches into the water and um so it's not as good for you you know if, if you have a plastic cup in your house that's different because you're going to put the water in there but the water the bottled water that we buy the plastic the water's been sitting in there for weeks if not months so these glass bottles you can get from amazon and so this is 18 ounces so i have the beginning of the day i filled four of them <laughs> one gone one i put by the side of my bed and i try to uh, drink half of it when i get up in the morning and i drink some at night i know you're not supposed to drink it at night but so i'm going to set three on my desk or wherever i'm going to be and my goal is going to be to go through these i fill them up with um, the filtered water in our house so that is that's really good. I'm going to add a little bit of our Illuminea fragrance because there's nothing like smelling good. Then the PJ party might turn into something else when your husband's home, right? So there you go. Now, you know what? I got to remember this is really highly concentrated. I put two squirts. You don't need two squirts of this. Illuminea, it's unbelievable. And the body butter. So I want to encourage you to see your beauty consultant. She can totally take care of you. Oh my gosh, I'm a happy woman. I told you what I was gonna do before I go today. But let me tell you, I mean, after you guys get off, I told you that I was gonna take the rest of my mask and apply it. So today we did satin hands, we did satin lips, we didn't do oil-free eye makeup remover, but this is a must. Everybody needs this to remove your makeup, eye makeup. Okay, I didn't have eye makeup on today. We did our four-in-one cleanser, okay? I talked to you about our brush, which this one is the massage head. Um, I talked to you about our eye cream, our day cream, our night cream. So if you just are going to get started with the Miracle Set for 110, you get all of this. And then I talked to you about some other products for the sexy people, the microdermabrasion, the um, eye patches, our new vitamin C and E product and our fragrance. So get with your beauty consultant on the products that you would love to have. I'm going to close today with some tips from my um, eldest granddaughter, graduated from the University of Michigan. And these are some tips that came from the University of Michigan Health Sciences on 10 things you can do for your mental health. And so one of them is value yourself, treat yourself with kindness and respect and avoid criticizing yourself. What are some of your favorite hobbies? What's one of your favorite hobbies you can make time for um, today? Uh, do you love reading, crossword puzzle, planting a garden, uh, learning to play an instrument or learning a new language? What is it that you love to do and how much time are you dedicating to doing that? Another tip is taking care of your body, eating nutritious meals. We're really doing everything we can here in this house, Thanksgiving, an exception, to eat nutritious meals. I talked to you guys, excuse me, about drinking plenty of water and exercise. It's proven if you are feeling, um, you know, if you've got a clinical depression issue by all means you need to see a professional. But all of us during this time can experience some sadness and not feeling as great. I wanna see my grandkids. It's just not the same over Zoom, right? I'd love for y'all to be in um, 
my uh, living room now and us to really be having a girlfriend day. But one of the things that makes a difference is exercise. The physiology of your body, physically moving your body, physically changing your um, the position of your body, your posture, all of those things immediately change and uh, cause the chemical reaction in your body to take place that stops you from slipping into depression and anxiety. It makes a difference, you guys. Taking care of your body also includes getting enough sleep, 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 you guys. Sleep is huge and sleep can contribute to a high rate of depression um, in everyone and they're talking specifically here in college students as well. Number three is surround yourself with good people, people with strong family and social connections. If you don't have a strong family or social connection, put that on your prayer list and ask God to connect you. If you're part of a ministry that doesn't have that strong connection, you guys, brick and mortar is out of order. If you've been um, a part of a large ministry where you were just you know, getting that little bit of community, hold on one second, I need a tissue where you were just getting that little bit of community when you were going to, to church and maybe you're not getting that same thing now, pray about where God is planting you right now so you can have that connection. Surround yourself with good people. It's very easy in this time and season to cut out some people in your life that don't need to be there. Number four is give yourself volunteer, give of your time and your energy to someone else. Give yourself. How can you give yourself to help someone else be even better? The fifth is learn how to deal with stress. There's good stress and there's bad stress. And so it's important that you learn how to deal with stress. Exercising again makes a difference. Walking, seeing nature, um, playing with your pets, huge stress reducer. If you don't have pets, I'm a big proponent of pets. There are so many. Our pets came from, um, um, uh, you know, um, the, uh, I'm not going to say the dog pound. What do you call it? Okay. So Princess is amazing. Max is amazing. And so there's nothing like having pets. Research shows you guys that laughter is huge. It can boost your immune system. It can make a difference in um, easing pain, relaxing your body and reducing stress. So pets and laughter. Watching some good movies makes a difference. Number six, for great mental health, quiet your mind. Try meditating, mindfulness. Your prayer life makes a difference. Your prayer life, you talking to God and then sitting still and allowing him to talk to you. Relaxation exercises that can calm your mind. I'm a big student of Dr. Carolyn Leaf and... Dr. Carolyn Leaf, this is an uh, everyday book, Switch on Your Brain. And so when I just open up here, she just, here's uh, one for today. Um, can any of you add 15 minutes to your height just by worrying about it? Matthew 6 and 27. Use your glasses, Katrina. The brain tip, she says, negative thinking affects our ability to think clearly. Toxic negative thinking produces increased activity in the DMN and decreased activity in the TPN. Those are parts of the brain. This results in maladaptive, depressive rumin ruminations and a decrease in the ability to solve problems. This makes us feel foggy, confused, negative, and depressed. Negative thinking decreases our wisdom and clarity. So it's critical. Quiet your mind. Number six of 10 tips is, I just said that was quiet your mind. Number seven would set some realistic goals. You know, there's some things that I want to accomplish before the end of this weekend, before the end of November, before the end of the year, but decide what you want to achieve academically, professionally, and personally. Write them down. It feels good to accomplish some goals, but y'all be realistic. Don't over schedule yourself. Push yourself with a healthy energy. Be where God wants you to be, right? And so you want to progress. You want um, to feel a great sense of accomplishment and self-worth. But setting the right now goal is so important. Number eight, break up the monotony. Hello. Okay. Although our routines make us more efficient and enhance our feelings of security and safety, a little change of pace can perk up a tedious schedule. So after your jogging route, plan a road trip, take a walk in a different park, hang some new pictures, 
Um, it says try a new restaurant, which we're not doing right now. But things that you could do, there's so many ways you could break up a monotony. If you always watch an action movie, watch a drama. If you always watch a drama, watch a comedy, okay? Number nine, avoid alcohol and other drugs. So important. It's so important right now. And um, so many people feel the need to self-medicate. I had a neighbor here who was on the next door app who um, I, I don't need to go into the story, but you know, she's locked in because of COVID and was asking someone to, to help her. Y'all, people that are dealing with the need for self-medication, they, they, it's real. And so um, if that is an issue for you, please deal with that. And number 10, lastly, is get help when you need it. Seeking help is a sign of strength, not a weakness. So seek help, be well, do well, and um, take care of yourself. I want to show you these gorgeous, y'all, this is not my gift, but this is my girlfriend, Angelique. And for the beauty consultants, y'all, isn't this gorgeous? I mean, taking the time, some of you have, um, if you had one really great, gorgeous basket that you showed and you had people, uh, uh, may, you know, 10 men in your in your customer base that just wanted to uh, get uh, something amazing for their wife, for their mother. You ask them what their budget is and you put it together. This basket just has a coffee mug. It has coffee in it. It has um, uh, cookies in it. It has potpourri. The back of it has a towel and it's shrink wrapped. And um, there's so much that was in a basket. A lot of people are doing... Um, are doing boxes now. This is an example of body care. Again, it just has a mug. It has candle. It has a little journal in there. It has some little roses, potpourri, some other fun little things in there, a workout little thing, whatever that is, and a whole bunch of um, shred and a towel in the back with a big old hunk and bow. So you guys, Take care of yourself, surround yourself with pretty things, give gifts. And um, but you know what? This year, more than giving gifts, I really want to have experiences with um, my family. So we're going to be saving for a great experience we'll have when this is over. But you know what? Taking the time to remember your family and do something special with family and friends is huge. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for joining. I hope this was fun and um, go make it an amazing, powerful day. All right. Bye-bye.